guys, so today's video is going to be on this Christmas, New Year's kind of party makeup look and I just love the eyeshadow that I use. Um, so let's just get straight onto it and the first thing that I did is prime my eyes with my Naked um, Skin Concealer. I'm in the shade Medium Dark Warm and this is the best eyeshadow primer I have ever used because when I wear this my eyeshadow does not crease at all throughout the day which is just amazing so definitely try that out and then to just set that in I'm using Makeup Geek Preppy and um, Makeup Geek eyeshadows are now available on beautybay.com so I'll link that in the info box and then I'm going to use Morocco and Fudge from the Anastasia Shadow Couture palette and really concentrate on the crease and kind of round off the outer corner you don't want to like make it a V or anything just round it off um, and yeah then with a very small tapered brush by Morphe I'm going to take Noir from the same shadow couture palette and really concentrate that on the inner corner and the outer corner and kind of join them up on like through the crease and this is the most like darkest black I've ever used as an eyeshadow it's so pigmented and this eyeshadow palette is so affordable in my opinion for the quality of the eyeshadows it's just 23 pounds which is also available on Beauty Bay um, and I just love this palette so much as you guys all know by now and here I'm just taking a more fluffy flat shader brush and just kind of blending everything out and kind of making a gradient between the crease color and the black Then for the star of the show, this is the Makeup Geek Shadow Pigment, and that's what I think that's what it's called, and it's in the shade Utopia, and I just absolutely love this eyeshadow pigment. It's just so pigmented, and what I did is I took a flat shader brush and applied some on the brush, and then kind of wet it with my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray, and this makes it just look so pigmented and vibrant and it's just such a pretty shade and again I got this off Beauty Bay here I'm just um, wiping the excess I just did um, apply this on the center of the eyelid only um, and it's just so pretty when you look down it's just, I just love it so much um, and then here I'm moisturizing my skin as always and then for my foundation I am using my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, I'm just dotting it on my face quickly and then blending everything in with my Damp Beauty Blender. I'm then going to quickly curl my eyelashes with my Avon Eyelash Curler and then I'm going to use my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara as usual um, to just quickly apply them uh, like a few coats and um, I am going to be wearing some falsies I'm using the um, lashes by Red Cherry Lashes in Stevie which is like my go-to false lashes um, they're only like three pounds or something so those are just they're just really nice basically and I do use my Isla Lash Glue Then I'm going to grab my concealer again, this is the same Naked Skin Concealer and I'm going to apply this um, under my eye. I'm then going to grab my Makeup Forever Camouflage Cream Palette um, and I just like to cream contour with this and this was actually kindly sent to me by Precious About Makeup. They're an online website that sell um, a bunch of makeup, especially Makeup Forever which is such a great deal for me because like I struggle to find Makeup Forever and in the UK it's really hard to find makeup forever so um, I thought I'll leave their website in the info box this is not sponsored anything they didn't ask me to do this I just thought I'll let you guys know because they also have the um, makeup forever ultra HD foundation the new one available on their website so if you've been wanting to try out that foundation it is available on there and I will definitely be buying it soon and doing a review for you guys and here I'm just using my damp beauty blender again to just basically blend everything out and I'm starting off with the concealer first and then blending out the contour And we'll grow in 
I'm then going to quickly set my concealer in with the yellow powder from the Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette and then using my NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Deep I'm going to set the cream contour and quickly bronze up and contour my face. I really love this bronzer and it's available on Boots.com so go check it out because I really really love this bronzer, I just keep using it now. And then here I'm going to highlight my skin and I'm using the Vivid Baked Highlighter by Makeup Revolution again and it's in Golden Light and this highlighter is only I think £3 and it's just such great quality so I just applied a bunch of that on my face. Um, and then here I'm going back again with Noir from the Shadow Couture Palette and really applying that on my lower lash line. And I'm also grabbing my number 7, I think it's called the Metallic Eyes Pencil. Um, and this one's in the shade Camouflage, it's just a pretty gold shade and I'm just lining my waterline with that. And then for my lips, I'm going to line them with my LA Girl Lip Pencil in the shade Natural. I just love this lip liner a lot lately. And then I'm going to apply Nude Embrace, which is the shade and it's the Maybelline Matte Lipstick. Um, I just wanted all the attention to be on the eye so I went with a very subtle lip colour. You can wear any lip colour that you want really. Um, you could even wear dark lip colour, I think that would look really pretty as well. Um, and then I'm quickly applying some mascara on my lower lashes. I also set all my makeup in with my Mario Badescu spray um, and quickly fixed up my smile lines and I'm also going to show you how I did my messy kind of curly wavy hair um, it's super easy I'm just combing my hair out and with a white wide tooth comb and I'm just sectioning off my hair I'm using a clip to keep everything up and then I'm combing a bit more I feel like using a wide tooth comb causes less damage, I don't know why, I've just been using that lately. And then I'm going to take my straightener, I've been using the Paul Brown one, it's a proper cheap one that I got off eBay, it's not anything like up there, so it heats up up to 210 degrees and I just use that. And I don't know how to explain this, but what I do is I curl the hair around the straightener, and well between it and then around it. Um, and then this just basically creates very like soft curls. I will be zooming in for you guys to show you in slow motion and up close how I'm doing it, but um, it just creates the most simple curls um, towards the ends, and I really like it. Um, I'm sectioning off another part of my hair, and then I clip everything up again. And then I just, um, as you can see here, it's like basically curling it in between and folding the straightener over. I don't know how to explain it, but as you can see, that's what I do all over basically. Um, and yeah, that's what I did. Um, I would suggest using a heat protectant before doing this, but I didn't have any left. I do like to use my Tresemme heat protection spray and it, heat, it protects up to 210 degrees, I believe. Um, yeah, so I would recommend doing that before doing putting heat on your hair, but I'm just being some kind of rebel and not doing it and then complaining that my hair is so damaged. Here I'm just touching up, I just do this very messily, like this is no neat way to do it, I just wanted, to, I just wanted it to be really messy and effortless. Um, I'm also going to back comb the hair and create some volume and make them look that make the curls look a bit bigger and more fluffier I don't know um, and also I'm also going to grab like um, a hairspray I use the one by CN it's just a really cheap one you can use any one the L'Oreal Elnet ones are quite good and um, it just keeps your hands in place and it smells really nice as well so yeah, that's all I did for this look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe for more videos. And yeah, until next time, I'll see you then. Bye guys. I'm quite liking it. I mean, the rest of my makeup did apply nicely on, this, on the foundation and it's not giving me any smile.